Hello YouTube and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're gonna make a uh, airline ticket view that you can just scan when you get on your plane with uh, one image from where you're going and one image to where you're going. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. First, add a new artboard. So we'll take an iPhone 7, 6, 7. And we'll start off by making this top part here. I used the rectangle tool and draw a square or rectangle like that. And that set the height to 24 and uh, the width to yeah full width. Yeah, and uh, remove the border and set the fill to uh, gradient. So you just click up here and choose gradient and we'll take a uh, kind of dark purple color and then select the other one and make it a blue dark blue color like that so we're making Thai Thai Airways and they have this kind of purple bluish gradient in their style so I just I just use that and now we'll go into open UI kits and Apple iOS and then this screen will open and we'll just grab one of these for our project. So we'll copy that one and then we'll go back to the airline, select this view and click Command C, Command V I mean, and it will paste. And actually there's an error in this one so I'll double click this icon and just remove it. You can if you want uh, the Bluetooth icon, you can just make it white instead, but I'll, I'll remove it. I have it in white here, but I'll remove it in this screen. And now let's take the rectangle tool again and uh, you can just hit R to select that as well. And we make room for the images. So in this you draw a rectangle like this and then you hit the repeat grid button and you'll just make another one like that and drag this space until it's zero. And then double click and remove the border. And now we'll go into, uh, I have some images, you can just choose whatever you want. And if you select several images and you have two, two parts in this, uh, you'll just drag it in and they'll end up one in each frame. So if you have more frames, then you select more images and then XD will just place one image in each frame. All right, but I want this kind of to lean a little bit, the images. So I'll click there and I'll ungroup grid and I'll click one of them and I'll hold this corner dot and I'll drag it a little bit to the right and the same thing with the bottom one, but I'll drag it to the left and now you can see what's about to happen. And then I'll double click the other one and I'll take the top left one and I'll drag it out to that and I'll take the bottom left one and I'll drag it out. And now you can see that the images fill that space instead. Okay, now I'll take this and I'll copy and paste it and I'll drag it down there, like that. I'd like to change this color, or not the color, but the gradient. Uh, so I click uh, the gradient here in fill, and then this line will turn up. So I can grab this, because I want it to be from one corner to the other corner, like that, okay? And uh, I'll hit transparency. Like 50 is good. Uh, and I'll also make transparency on this one. Okay, that was a bit too much, too much transparency here. So I'll make it 85. And I can also click this and do the same thing with the. All right. And now I want to copy this one, the top one, and drag it down here and just drag it down 
like that. So we'll have this background here. Now that's the background part. Let's continue with this top part. So I want this little airplane to show that I'm going from Phuket to Bali. Uh, but I'll start by writing Phuket and, and Bali. So I'll just uh, grab the text tool and I'll write Phuket. I want this to be the San Francisco font since it's iOS and I'll take ultra light, center it and take it to 45 maybe. That was too big, uh, 35. All right, and not ultra light. Let's just do thin and completely white. So that's Phuket like that. And let's offset the white to 95. And then I'll copy this, Command C, Command V, and I'll drag it down here and center it. I'll actually center this one as well. All right. And this one says Bali. All right. And I want it to, I can just copy this, Command C, Command V again. But this time I'll make it to 14 and align it to the right and take San Francisco bold and say type Monday 8 p.m. right and I'll copy that actually I'll offset it as well to 95 that is 95 maybe down to 85 Command C, Command V, and we'll end up in Bali in on the same day, but at 10 p.m. All right, so now I'm going to draw this little airplane. You can find icons all over the internet, so you can just go out and grab one uh, for free, or you can do them yourself. So this one I made myself, and I'm going to show you how. Uh, I'll actually draw it here on the side. So I'll take the rectangle tool, I'll draw a long rectangle and I'll make it the edges round by dragging these corners and double click and I'll just grab this anchor point and I'll... Now I'm just using the arrow keys to make it thinner in the back. So this is the airplane body. Then I'll take a square tool and I draw a, a rectangle tool and I draw a square and I'll make the edges a little bit round. Here you can just feel free to use your own creativity to do this. I'll rotate it and double click and then I'll just remove these anchor points by clicking the delete button. Now this is the wings, they're a bit too small here, so I'll make them a little bit bigger. And then Command C, Command V, and it's also the, the tail wings, like that. And then I'll double click this again and uh, with the select tool. And then when, once you hit the, the line here, you can add anchor points, so I'm just adding one in the center and I'll drag it in to make it look more like airplane wings. And then I'll just move it back so that it looks a little bit like an airplane. And then I'll select all of those and I'll up here I can hit this add icon and that will make it into one shape. And then I can just make it smaller and rotate it and put it right there. I rotated it too much like that, okay. And remove the fill and set the border to white and two pixels and make it a little bit off white, like 90. And then you can just adjust the, si adjust the size as you see fit. All right, so there you have a little airplane icon and now 
I'm going over to this ticket part. The Thai Air logo I just took off the internet. I googled Thai Air and I took it. Uh, but first we make this card. So we'll take the square tool or the rectangle tool and we draw a rectangle like that, not all the way down. And we'll set the round corners to eight and we'll remove the border like that. Okay. And then the fill color, we take, make it a little bit off white. So F7, 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 that's fine. Okay, and we'll copy and paste this one, Command C, Command V, and then just drag the copy down, and that's gonna be this barcode part. Like that, okay. And now you can see I have, right here, I have some small dots uh, to make it look like a, a real ticket that you torn uh, in the UE. So now we're going to make that. So we'll make, we'll take the rectangle tool again and we'll just draw a rectangle like, actually make it bigger and round corners and then make it smaller and thinner like that and then remove the border we're probably going to make it even thinner so i'm going to zoom in a little bit here like that okay and let's make it even thinner that's good and we'll start there we can make the fill color to the same as this one so we we'll can grab the eyedropper tool and just click here and it will be the same color and now repeat grid and then just drag it out and we want it to be pretty close eight pixels is good and just drag it out until you have as many as you want all right and then you just grab the grid and you pull it down a little bit and center it until you have it the way you want so like that and we want we want to have the exact same thing in the bottom down down here so we'll command c command v copy and paste that one and just drag the copy down like that all right so that's the paper tear look uh now um Let's go over to this part. Like I said, this one I took off the internet, so just find it in Google. Uh, and I'll move it here. Actually, I'm gonna paste it so that it end up, ends up in the exact same place. And now I'll take, I'll copy this Monday text, Command C, Command V, drag it down here and make it dark gray. And of course we're flying first class today, uh, but I'll make that 12. And then I'll copy that one because I think it's a good size and I'll left align it and I'll align it to this Thai Air logo. And this is where the name is going name and then I copy this text because I want it to look the same or the same size at least and make the fill color the same as, as the name and left align it so you just you align it and then that this is Mr. John McMahon is flying today. Copy and paste this whole part and drag it down. And then you have the light. 
the flight and the flight is tire 256 I don't know why but that's the way it is and then copy and paste that one drag it a little bit to the right of the center and that's where your seat goes and of course it's a window seat and then the departure time and date down here departure and we'll make that at 0, 08 100 hours p.m. and copy and paste that one and we'll make it August 8th all right that's this part now this part can be kind of an interactive part where you can like check in and it tells you when to go to the gate or or something like that so we copy this rectangle the background rec rectangle command C command V and we'll drag it down like there and we make it to this Thai air purple color like that we double click it and then we'll remove these by clicking delete select select them and click delete and then you double click this to make this line straight and now we can just select both of them by clicking command uh, shift and drag it up a little bit so that the this area is a little bit bigger and then copy the departure time or the departure text and we want to center that one center that one and make it white and we'll type go to gate all right I'm actually gonna add a little line here just to separate separate it a little bit more that might look like a little shadow or uh, when it because it's just one pixel it will just make this pop a little bit more okay now the this last thing the barcode uh, and there's tons of way to do this but I'll just grab the rectangle tool and I'll remove the border add a dark gray color and I'll command C command V and I'll just make a few of these like that and then you can just repeat grid and drag it out and then make it any way you want to this is just a placeholder anyway all right now you can see the ticket is done and uh, that's it for this tutorial I hope you liked it subscribe to my channel if you want to see more XD tutorials uh, or add a comment below if you want me to do something special or I'll just keep doing this about once a week all right see you next time